Here it is on a Sunday. Usually nobody's out here proselytizing, at least no Christians. Oh, there's some Jehovah's Witnesses. Oh my gosh, but they look like they're just starting to pack up. Oh no, 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 no. They're just setting up. So their magazines are on display and no, I've never seen these two before. So, I guess it's my, my chance to uh, go and make some new friends. I, I never see you out on a Sunday. Yeah, we've got to start. It's, uh, well, it's let up. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, I just thought you'd be in church or something. I'm just, just we've curious. Been to church. Yeah. Oh, you've been? Just finished, yeah. All right. Because yeah. usually, usually they stand there, I see. We have, so. there's, in, in Watford, there's two um, groups Central so one, and, and Leaston. So one would yeah. be in the afternoon, so we take her turn. So they've got their, their uh, meeting for about an hour. Oh, I see. I always wondered how you sort of determined who came out and who, oh, who right. didn't. Yeah, it's you know. all organised in that way, so we know. Which congregations out and what we're going to be taking and stuff all like right because yeah. you could you could all be out here sort of yeah, vying oh no. for attention, no, didn't you? No, 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 no. Got to confuse people. All oh, right, okay, yeah. Yeah. So you have this um, uh, Easter mission? No, we what is the, it? The uh, memorial, we wasn't had the it? Memorial. Yeah. yeah. We just had that last Friday, the third of April. Oh, you've had yeah. it. Yeah. We've had it yet. Yeah. Oh, okay. nice and fourteen. Yeah. So, all right. How did how did that go? Yeah, very well. Yeah, worldwide, it's just millions. Yeah, it was very well done and made people think about why Jesus really died. It's not just, it's not about Easter eggs and bunny rabbits. It's about what he's going to do no. for us, what he did for us, what he'll do mm. for us in the future, and why that's so significant yeah. to us. And he's put himself, um, he let himself be like, to be killed for people that didn't even know or appreciate him, actually. Oh, right. okay. yeah. You know what I mean? So, so I guess uh, that's the closest thing you have to like a holiday, isn't it? That is because... the most important event of, of, our, of the year, as it were, because we don't really celebrate anything else. But that's so that's yeah. he commanded us to to celebrate that, yeah. which is in place of the Passover. So yes, it's the most significant and most celebrated that we do of the year, yeah. the most important. Oh. Is this your son or is it? This is my yes, son, yes. yes. All right, so yeah. have you grown up in, in the, the JWs? Yeah. All right, so you've never you've never had the Christmas thing or anything like that? Uh, he did, I did <laughs> remember. I remember having a fourth birthday party. Yeah. Was that McDonald's? Uh, I don't think so, I had a Thomas the Tank. All right, okay, yeah, but, done that. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Was, but um, yeah, I've never felt deprived or anything because uh, I'm not celebrating Christmas or birthdays or anything. Mm. Um, I saying that, I think some, when I was growing up, my mum was a witness, my dad wasn't. Yeah. I did feel deprived and sometimes because my yeah. friends were at school, so it's not to say that oh, I'm not going to say that none of us. Of course, you have that feeling. Some, some kids do, and some kids don't. Sure. But as I appreciate, as I grow older, I have children of my own, and I appreciated why it came to me late on that it was important, do you know what I mean? So yeah. for me, it, was, it wasn't really good quite like that. I did oh, yeah. want to do that. But I just think personally, like you know? to miss out on a party, which really isn't, it doesn't do any harm though, does it? Which one Chris, you talk about, birthday? Christmas or birthday or, or anything, it's only because Mother's the, Day or anything like it's that. It's only because of the um, the origins, pagan origins of birthdays that we yeah. try to keep away. Because with birthday candles, about um, birthday candles, about wishes and spiritism, that mm. because of that basis, because it's not scriptural, and Jehovah says to take, stay away from spiritism. That's why we don't celebrate yeah. birthdays. And also, it, it gives, um, it elevates that person as well mm. to a position where it's well, okay, it's your birthday, but we're all at equal, is it? Do you know what I'm trying to say? Mm. And also, but it is a spiritistic aspect oh, of it, right. and also okay. with, with yeah. Christmas. It's like, how do people around us view Jesus at Christmas? I mean, really, is it about him? Or is it about the, the, the partying, the food? It has become a thing, more secular commercial. holiday now. Yeah. But it's, it's a good thing, because for me, it's something to look forward to. I understand. And the family get yeah, together I've and have all this food, you have to watch <laughs> the it, telly, you fall asleep together. Yeah, it's, I did all that, that was you know, great. <laughs> it's just evolved, because yeah. people, people evolve. You yeah, know, so, yeah. Um, but for me, now, now that I know that it's, it's not scriptural, and mm. how other people view Jesus. Yeah. They don't view it in the way that they should, but you, you do, perhaps, but they don't, they don't view it the same way. Why are they celebrating something that they have no belief in? And like, mm. we don't want to um, join in with that, as it were, yeah. you know? Because for me, it's like, um, you're, someone's a guest of honor at their own birthday party, but he's not invited. Right. Do you know what I mean? Well, like I say, I think that. it's something that evolved. It was a pagan thing to yeah. begin with, yeah. but that was thousands of years ago. 
then the, the, the church took it over and became Christmas, and they sort of combined the two together, together, didn't they? Yeah. And now it's become pretty much a secular thing, yeah. isn't it? it Where has. it's like, yeah. well, I like this idea of once a year giving presents and yeah. getting together. But that's like all celebrations, like whether it's Mother's Day, Father's Day, yeah. it's surrounded by food, <laughs> drink. Yeah. Otherwise, would people really do it if yeah. you didn't have all those trappings as well? Do you I know what I mean? they perhaps they wouldn't, but yeah. that's why I think perhaps it's a good thing. It's, it's human just, nature. That's yeah. what the flesh likes. We yeah. like celebrating, eating, and drinking, don't yeah. we? So it appeals to the flesh. All right. So, yeah. It's not a bad thing, but I'm just saying. What I've always liked to say is, why do I have to wait till pancake day to have pancakes? Why can't I just have pancakes? Well, that's a good point, yeah. Well, mother's day, just to say your mother's great. That, that's the thing with Mother's and Father's Day. That's how I feel, that's how we feel about it. Yes. It's a, you should, your mother's there every day, and that's the respect that you give every day. And they've commercialised that. That people think, oh, I've got to give my mother flowers. When we, when I go to my mother in law's, I give a bunch of flowers just because mm. it's much more to have. You know, I, I do agree with what you're saying. It's like, yeah, I'm sure everybody feels that really. You know, exactly. Yeah. You should do it anytime, <laughs> yeah, whatsoever. But I was just thinking, I mean, how old are you now? Can I ask? 21. Well, but like when you're in school, were there like parties and things like another kid has a birthday, or yeah, yeah. you come to Christmas, or even Halloween, and there's stuff going on, and you, no, you couldn't could you, you couldn't do it. No. So I was just, you know, I'm not being, yeah, you know, I'm just saying, you it. must have felt a bit left out, you know. Uh, I think when I was very young, I did. Um, towards teen years, some things, maybe some things, uh, not so much. I didn't really feel that strongly that I was missing out. Yeah. Uh, really, because I have a lot of friends in our congregation as well. We do things regularly with them. So yeah. there was always. If I was missing out on something, then there'd always be something to fill it. Okay. Makes sense. Yeah. So it's. I don't know, it's just, I just got used to it. You're okay with it? Just, yeah. the, just what I did. Yeah. Okay. Um, I was happy to be me and not to be yeah. kind of molded. So you're glad to have the courage of your convictions? Yes. Um, so that you feel okay about that? Yeah. All right. Because all right. Yeah. I went to school, and you probably guessed, in, in, in the States. Yeah. yeah. And we had one JW uh, child in the yeah. class. I yeah. can't remember his name yeah. for the life yeah. of me now. <laughs> but he always, you know, um, kind of sat at the back and it was like, oh, he can't do that. Yeah. You yeah. can't do this. Yeah. You can't. You know, or you could say, yeah, okay, he's got the courage of his convictions, or his parents yeah. do, but he always looked kind of miserable. Yeah, you know? but I felt, that's what I said, I felt like that too. <laughs> it's like, so when you're at that you age, you just, because you see other people enjoying it, it doesn't really matter what the reasons are. Yeah. All you feel is that I'm missing out. So it doesn't really matter about it, it's yeah. more that I'm not with my friends, sort yeah. of thing. But in my heart of hearts, I knew why. And as much as it was difficult, I knew mm. that it was right. Yes. Do you know what I mean? It's like that, that courage of your convictions to know that mm. actually this is hard, but I know it's the right thing to do. Yeah. You know? And that just, and it refines you, I think, as a Christian as well, mm. just to, 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 to know why. And people do, they come up and they ask you, why don't you do this? Why don't you do that? And then when you can actually show a scriptural base for doing that, they say, oh, right, okay then, I understand. Yeah. But it's like with any religion. It's not so much that you can't, it's more that you don't want to. But maybe when they're a child, yes. there's always going to be that, that pull of the yeah. of the world and what we what they do, which is natural. Yeah, because I'm very interested in, in religious organisations, yeah. and I'm not part of one myself. Yeah. I did grow up in one, but yeah, because um, yeah, you you um, these are written by the Watchtower, isn't that right? Yeah, it's a society. It's the Watchtower and, and the Bible Society. I'm sure I've seen so, that they're in New York, aren't they? I'm sure yeah, I've went, that's where driven past the, yeah. the, the building. But in yeah. Manhattan, because we went there a couple of years ago, uh, they're buildings that you see yeah. where Brooklyn Bridge is. They're actually sold them now. They're building a new one, aren't yeah, they? Yeah, they go to Walk Hill, or, um, Water, yeah. Walk Hill, yeah, which is outside oh, right. of the city. And they're, they've all got it all built up there. It's Brooklyn in the countryside. Is this so what they call a Bethel? Yes, that's yeah. correct. They have oh, a Bethel right. in England. Yeah. All, all, major, all countries have a Bethel, which is a headquarters. Like yeah. The and branch, so. Oh, okay. Where the printing is done, all the work is done, the planning, yeah. and languages. So, I think how many on the how languages do we on the website? Six hundred and three, seven hundred languages. If you yeah. go on the website, that it's available in wow. sign language. Things like that, which yeah. Is yeah. So it's all over the world now. It anyway. is now, so, yeah. yeah. Also in countries where not only just there's a main language, but other dialects of languages that we try to get to for people to learn about the Bible in their yeah. own mother tongue. Because as much as we English is a public language. It's, it's, there's no, nothing better than actually reading the Bible in your own, yes. in your own language. Wow. And that's great, you know. And it's so all online now there. as well, it is. isn't it? Yeah, it's all yeah. on there for, yeah. for people and different abilities. And yeah, it's great. Ah. It's really good, it's getting that message out there. I mean, we, you get the, have a general election 
next month. And what do you see? People are confused. They don't know what to think. They don't know who to believe in. Because they DWs vote. don't vote, do you? We don't, no. Because we've already voted for the Kingdom. Yeah. That's coming. So oh. let that Kingdom come. So the vote's already been cast. Oh. So that's who I trust to bring about what mankind needs. Well, just, just imagine, though, you had two people to vote for two parties. Yeah. Just imagine one is all for Britain and British values yeah. and one was, I don't know, a Nazi. Okay. You had a chance, you had a chance to vote and say, I'm not having the Nazi guy. Yeah. You're gonna have, you, know, you couldn't do that. I wouldn't want to. But you'd I, have a chance I, to I, get... I want to, why would I want to vote for a political party though? I'd rather go to prison. Well, no, no. you might have had the chance to turn the tide so that the <laughs> Nazi version didn't get in. No, so I'm just saying. believe it with God. Because he's, he's got everything in it. Because everything that happens today is going to happen in the future. Even though he's allowed mankind to take reins for a little while. Yeah. Because he wants us to see what the world would be like without him. He's still he's got hope of control. So he, he's the ultimate oh. judge. So it doesn't matter really um, what happens in between there's going to be the end to it yeah. and his will will take place on earth as it is in heaven. Because it's interesting what you just said is you said um, it, you, God wanted to see, Jehovah wanted to yeah. see what the world would be like without he him. He wants us to see what it would be, what it's like. Oh, he wants us him. to see, yeah. yeah. without his guidance. Oh, so okay. The Bible says it's like a manual for life. Yeah, yeah. Because we need that. It's like a father writing a letter to his son and travelling to a foreign land. He wouldn't see you for a while. So yeah. he's left this letter of instruction to his son. This yeah. is what you need to do. So it's like a loving letter to a son. Do this and it will help you, despite you being imperfect and living in a world like this. Oh. That's what the Bible is, it's a guide for humankind. And how do the, you know, the, the gentlemen in the in the watchtower, there's a group of seven or eight of them, is yeah, that right? Yeah, the governing body. Right, the governing body. So they write all this material, I believe. Is that right? Yeah, they're all not all of them, it's not themselves. It's, it's not like it's to different ones. Um, sometimes you have articles in your way magazine in particular where it's an experience uh, from someone um, in their personal experience. They approve so, it, in other words. Yeah, oh, yeah, it. yeah, 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 yeah. I think they said for the Bethel Royal Tour in New York, they had 200 um, checks. Just, yeah, um, just going through. It's not like it's um, just for those eight men. It doesn't come because you couldn't possibly, could you? Mm. It has to be delegated. So, but yeah, there's always a personal story in one of them. And so the it's facts. not like the you know the Mormons have a similar group of eight, eight or twelve men. I don't know. Much and about. they say they have a direct line to God oh, and they right, have revelations okay. and all that. It's not like that, is it? No, wouldn't call it like because that sounds a bit. I wouldn't call it. They've got a direct line to him. It's like it's, yeah. Everything um, is brought about by Holy Spirit, so we're helped by that Spirit. You know what I mean? Yeah. So it's it's from Jehovah God, yeah. So, but they do have a special sort of relationship with, yeah. with, with, yeah. with the yeah. Holy Spirit. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. But I couldn't explain to you what that is because oh. I don't have that. Oh. <laughs> but that's what that's what we we know of them and we trust oh. that, that that's the case. But okay. I can't I can't tell you what that feels like. Yeah. Because I'm not one of those one of those ones. So. Well, that's an example. Um, so she is obviously written this experience. Uh, Three questions public. that what's that changed my uh, changed my life. Yeah. yeah. So she's written about her personal experience. Yeah. Um, and then in each way, Watchtower, do we have a personal experience from this? It's been going on this in Watchtower issues for a few months now. And also various different articles such as. Yeah. yeah. Cat. <laughs> functions of cat whiskers. The function of cat whiskers. I wouldn't have expected that from her. Yeah. A... Exactly. Um, so it's got a wide variety of different subjects. Um, obviously, so this this the function of cat whiskers that's yeah. that would be about creation evo evolution wouldn't it we would because we watched how it would be creation <laughs> oh. did, you how? did the function of cat whiskers come about by evolution or was, was it designed, designed. designed. Ask you that question yeah after well are they scientists approve it's by evolution people can believe what they want but we I, we believe that everything has been created by Jehovah God mm. so evolution's not a belief though is it it's just it's you based me, no, it's based on <laughs> scientific ev evidence okay. and years of looking into cats and looking into yeah. fossils of cats and but they don't know everything scientists do they they're still like, no not explore. everything but they're finding out all okay. the time well they can carry on finding out because i know <laughs> that god is the creator of all things yeah and i don't listen and it's almost like there's so much that we there's so much we don't know about yeah. him and there's so much that we don't know about creation yeah. but i'm happy to know that he's done it all for us yeah you know that's that and he's out of love that he does yeah. these things and you, you really do us. trust the governing body are of course yeah as you say, yeah. they have the word of God. Yeah. Um, how do you know they're, they're not just scamming everyone? 
good, it's, it's, it's a serious scamming question. About what? Scamming, scamming. How in what sense? Well, just pretending that they have these, this what? knowledge. For what? 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 To what end? And sending you guys out <laughs> to, to do this. About Without being paid, yeah. getting converts, right. yeah. then the converts come in, give money though? to the church, and they no, get no, richer no. and richer. No. And it's just a theory. Yeah, it's just look, a theory. I totally understand that because people, people tell me telling people that there's yeah. better times coming. That's all. That God's going to bring about peace and security to our earth. Is that such a bad thing? But you're telling people Armageddon is coming. Aren't which, you? which is what? What's Armageddon to you? Yeah. Gosh, the <laughs> Mad Max, the end of the world, all that okay. sort of stuff. But Armageddon is. God's war against evil mankind. So all the people yeah. that's making it bad for us, which there are plenty of, yeah. he's going to get get rid of those people and bring about a new order, paradise, like what Adam and Eve first yeah. had. Is that such a, a bad thing to happen? That he'll get rid of badness, get rid of sickness, death, poverty, suffering. Well, why didn't he like bring them up to heaven and say, look, here's the truth. The and then they come no, no, no. down and then they'll say, oh, God, no, we were such bastards, why. weren't that, we? Yeah, because that's why... Why does he have to slaughter do. them all? That's why, why? We, we do what we do. That's why we, it's important that as Jehovah's yeah. Witnesses, we give people the opportunity to yeah. find out what the Bible really says and what God's purposes are. Yeah, it's a okay. loving thing, isn't it? And it's... it's, 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 it's well, I don't long. think Armageddon's a loving thing. If you were... Well, the thing is, if something happened to you or a relative or something like that, you know, you'd, you'd feel that you want some sort of justice, but because God is a, a God of justice, he's given, he's given people time to change. Mm. Yeah, you but d let's just say yeah. that, that there's somebody who's a very good person, yeah. helps others, yeah. um, gives to charity, never hurts anyone, yeah. but doesn't believe in God. And does the odd, you know, thing like has sex before marriage, yeah. smokes, all that sort yeah. of stuff, you know, which isn't really evil. Yeah. And God comes down and says, no way, you're slaughtered, that's well, it. Well, the thing is, because he... That's not right. No, the thing is, Jehovah, God, he can read people's hearts. So even before they even know anything, he, may, he reads everyone's hearts. Okay. So if he thinks that that person is receptive to, the, to his word, the truth, he'll make sure yeah. that they'll, they'll be got to, as it were. I know it sounds like a... <laughs> there's, there's also an issue of um, what the person doesn't know that smoking is wrong. Yeah. Just ignorance. It's not his fault. God will have to factor that into the equation as well. Yeah. yeah. Um, Would you say smoking is wrong or just not a good idea for your health? Wrong. 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 Because it, it, it like defiles morally the body. Wrong. Yeah, it defiles the body. Not only yourself, but other people. Yeah. What if you had a child? What if you were sitting in a restaurant? Not only to yourself it causes damage, but to other people as well. So yeah. even though they were talking about, even when you're smoking, I work in a hospital, what for general, even when you're smoking in an office, let's say that that wouldn't have happened, even the furniture, than mm. the smoke residue yeah. and other people are affected by that so morally yes because it can kill somebody yeah I see what you mean yeah. you, just, you put it that way yeah. definitely I don't, yeah, I don't know so if it's moral that. in terms of uh, like going up and stabbing yeah, somebody yeah sure I understand but, that but yeah I can see what <laughs> in direct <laughs> sort of way yeah. Yeah. so you think yeah. about it because I think if, when Jones witnesses long time they used to smoke but it's when we got um, more knowledge or more light on the subject um, they found out that it's not a good idea to smoke yeah. but didn't really understand completely all the uh, the bad things that would happen but it's over time yeah. scientists have discovered how really bad smoking is yes. so it's almost like we're catching up with Jehovah what he's saying to us a long long time ago yeah. and humans just catch up behind yeah. and think oh that's the reason why Todd's not to do this okay. it's for our protection do you think science is a good thing? in some circumstances yeah with medicines yeah. and to help make of course because Jehovah has allowed that to happen yeah. but they can only go so far he will allow mankind to go so far in their abilities Oh, okay. Because if they go too far, what's going to happen to us? Someone's going to press the button, we're going to blow ourselves up. Yeah. He's never ever going to allow mankind to destroy what he created for us. Okay. It's, it's just, you know, God. you hear things and like, yeah. I, like I heard that Job's witnesses, they don't like higher education, college, university. Universities, no. Because it's what happens on the campus, isn't it? I don't know what happens in America. Yeah. <laughs> but there's lots of dodgy things that happen. It's a protection for us. That's yeah. not to get in with bad association. Because when the kids are on their own, 18 years old, I'll go off for three years on your own. Yeah. What do you think they're going to be doing? But what if your son here decided you want to go to medical school, which is, you know, it's a very laudable thing. You'd be helping people and, you know, curing people, who knows, stopping cancer yeah. and all that. Would you, would but we you, think that this is more life-saving. Would you not allow <laughs> your son here to... Would you? Well, it's my decision. I'm 21. I can, yeah. I can do what I want, basically. Yeah. But, um, so it would be okay. So, well, she wouldn't be happy No, with I wouldn't be happy with it, no. Going to medical school? No. Really? No, because that's it's higher education. No, because I, I think our time left is reduced. Mm. Uh, 
living before and say Armageddon and this is the most life saving thing that you could ever do. Orifice should be better suited to saving people forever rather than saving people temporarily. Just, yeah. yeah, temporarily. But you don't really know if Armageddon is real or not. But you do know that people's illnesses are real. As you can so see yes them. to both of those. Armageddon is you real, people's I mean? illnesses are real. <laughs> Yeah, because that's, that's mm. where faith, that's why we're out here today. It's faith, of course we, yeah, yeah. It, it's coming. Yeah. But they've been expecting yeah. Armageddon, you know, tomorrow, yeah. ever since, you know what? like, 1800. Good. And, and it's good that it is, because <laughs> giving people a chance. Because God is a God of justice. Yeah. <laughs> He's got to get through everybody, make sure everybody gets to Maybe not everybody will, but he'll make allowances for that. He's got uh, a justice. Yeah. So we just leave it to him. He's the one who sets the time. And that's, we just go along with that. Okay. Because it's right. about people. Yeah. It's about people, their lives. So if you had a, how many millions of children, you care about each and every one of them. So you want to give them mm. a chance to change. And that's why it's really important for us to witness as much as possible. And it's people's choices at the end of the day. Yeah. As long as they, there's, they know that God's out there, he loves them, and there's a better way. We could be living, we, we don't live a life now, we live a shadow of what he wanted us to be. This mm. isn't living. <laughs> living this living forever, being truly happy. Are you happy doing doing this? The, you call it pioneering, is that right? Yeah, yeah he's that pioneering, yeah, yeah, yeah. Pioneer. yeah. yeah. Yeah, okay. for all the rest of our lives. We don't. I don't know what the Mormons. I think they do it for two years. Two, and they, they send do something, I'm two sure. youngsters, missionaries, um, about the same age as you, yeah. out for two years, and yeah. I think that's all they have to pay for that themselves as well. Yeah. And they'll be here in June or July. Yeah. They always yeah I've seen them. Yeah. In the black suits. Yeah. And they yeah. Will walk so up and down. Thing, yeah. <laughs> were you a Mormon when you were growing up? No, no, no. Oh, I, right, I knew okay. some. I knew oh, some. Okay. Yeah. And my yeah. brother's girlfriend is one. Oh, right. Which is, which is old. Because I thought they all stuck together. But yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think we just do it for two years, isn't it? But we just carry it. As long as we've got our health, yeah. or even if we're in a hospital, we always witness to people. Because it's, it's life saving. Yeah. We want to have a relationship with, with God as well. Okay. Yeah. I hope you don't mind my questions. Of course you know, not. So I, I find it really fascinating. But even God says that I'll keep asking questions, keep digging yeah. for, that, for that knowledge. You have to. Yeah. Yeah. It's okay. important. I better let you get on. Okay, then. Then. Thanks for talking you. to me. See you later. See you later.